Okay, grind out more pars. How to post good scores on bad days. So you're missing every fairway and green. If your game was a rocket launch, NASA would abort. Hang in there. When you're having one of those days, fighting for pars and good bogeys is important. It helps build character, and it's also part of becoming a real player. You see, good golfers know how to grind. Besides, if you dash to the 19th hole every time your game went a little haywire, you wouldn't finish many rounds. How you handle adversity defines you just as much as how you handle success. Use these three swing management tips from the new top 100 teacher, Gary Weir. With his help and a little grit on your part, we'll see that an off day par can feel like a birdie. So get ready to rewire your mind and learn how to grind. Number one, lean on routine. Golfers tend to speed up when they struggle, hoping to either end the suffering as soon as possible or to quickly implement the next fix. Either way, rushing ruins tempo. It also means you're not giving your pre-shot routine the attention it deserves. Think of the process of visualizing the desired shot while smoothly yet systematically settling into your stance as being in a safe space, a place to relax, ensure success, and focus on the given task. Try my pre-shot routine below or experiment with your own. The important thing is to have one. Without it, your swing is lost at sea, lacking direction. Let familiarity be your lifesaver. Do this pre-shot. Step one, stand directly behind the ball. Step two, aim the club through the ball and your target. Step three, visualize the shot you want to hit. Step four, make one good practice swing, focus on one swing key and the shot's shape. Step five, take a final look at the target and start back, simply repeating your practice swing. Number two, ditch your driver. A quick way to make a big number is to drive into trouble. If the big dog is misbehaving, keep it in the bag. Trust me, you can still score. Tiger Woods famously pulled driver only once en route to winning the 2006 British Open at Hoylake. And after triumphing at Muirfield in 1966 for his first Open victory, Jack Nicklaus confessed, I was forcibly struck with how much more precision counts in golf than power. Emulate the greats. When grinding, tee off with the club you know will find the short grass. Even if it's an iron, if it's good enough for Tiger and Jack, your happy place. Accept that you don't have your A game and that you can live without that. Watch your temper. Getting angry won't help. It'll only annoy your foursomes. Stick with your routine and know that one good shot can turn things around. Be your own Tony Robbins. The good mojo will fuel you through good patches. So laud every success, no matter how small. That backswing felt better. Like you, pros miss more shots than they flush, but they are quick to celebrate all the small victories, which keeps the positivity flowing. Number three, pat your own back. Most rounds start with solid self-belief and a sense of anticipation. This might be my day. Then reality, a loose shot here, a lost ball there, and that positivity erodes with every misstep. A good attitude is huge. The moment you lose that, your round is over. Grinders don't get down. They stay positive at all costs. The steps above will help. Come on, man, you got this, bud. Brought to you by Golf Wire.